pastors and church. Want to give you guys a quick update on Love Life America and what God has been doing over the last several months. I'm standing here in front of a map of America right now, and we're going to take you region by region and kind of show you the landscape of the reality of abortion in our country and where there currently is a Christian witness and where we need a Christian witness. I just want to begin with reminding us of some foundational things of our ministry and, and of what we are about and who we are and what we want to see happen across the nation. We are motivated by the great commandment, a love for God and a love for people. That is what motivates us. We, we love because He first loved us. We lay down our lives and make sacrifices because He first laid down His life for us. We are guided by the Great Commission. We believe that this is disciple-making work. We are discipling one another on what loving our neighbor looks like. We are guided by the Great Commission. We are collaborating in John 17 unity. We need the collaboration of the church. We need Baptists next to Presbyterians, next to Pentecostals. We want to see Jesus' prayer in John 17 be answered and realized to reach the least of these at abortion mission fields across the country. And that's what we have to start viewing it as. These are legitimate mission fields where we know broken and hurting people are showing up and where innocent human beings are scheduled to die. And as you look at this map, you are gonna see every black dot, every black dot, as you see in the LA area, in the California area, there's a lot of black dots. Every black dot represents an abortion center where there currently is not a Christian witness. Every white dot represents a Christian witness where the hope of the gospel is being presented and the help of the local church is being offered in some way. The white dot doesn't have to be someone from Love Life. This isn't about necessarily seeing Love Life everywhere. We just want to see a Christian witness bringing the hope of the gospel and the help of the local church. So we thank God for this Christian witness here in Bakersfield. Right here, the yellow dot, the yellow dot represents somebody from Love Life, a missionary that has been commissioned and sent in this area. Um, we have Omar in Fresno, California. He was in for our missionary training a couple weeks ago, and God is already using him and his wife to see lives saved in Fresno, California, people that showed up for death that got life. But as we span across the country, the, this, this whole map is broken up into 40 different regions. These regions, you're going to see these numbers like 31. That means there's 31 abortion centers in this region. There's 30 abortion centers in this region here. You jump up to Washington, you see there's 32 abortion centers here. And going all the way across the country, you're going to see a diff different things. Somewhere we have white, we have white dots. This is where there is a Christian witness. But out of the 700 abortion clinics across the country, there's only a Christian witness at about 30%. That means that 500, around 500 abortion clinics have no Christian witness. And look, these are the only places that we know for certain where people are scheduled to die. We don't know where the next school shooting is going to take place across this country. If we did, I believe that Christians would run to the, to, to the scene especially if we knew that cops or the SWAT were not going to be able to be there to offer protection. But we can say for certain that we know where people are scheduled to die, and it's these abortion mission fields across the country. Jump with me over to the East Coast as we start down here in Florida. Down in South Florida, we got a lot of black dots, a lot of black dots. And, and a white dot here, we praise God for every Christian witness that there is, but we want to see every black dot be turned, turned to white or to yellow, representing that there is the hope of the gospel and the help of the local church being offered at these places of death. Up through the Carolinas, North Carolina and South Carolina are grouped together in a region. We're so thankful for the, the pastors and the church that's standing strong in Charlotte and Greensboro and Raleigh. And now Fayetteville is coming onto the scene. We have missionaries that are being launched in Fayetteville in Wilmington, in Asheville, in Greenville, South Carolina. But as you go up the map and you get into the Northeast, you see here in D.C. there's 13 abortion centers in this region. In the Delaware region, we got 12. In Pennsylvania, we have 22. But there is a missionary that has been commissioned 
uh, Veronica right here in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. She was here for our boot camp five day training a few weeks ago. God is already using Veronica to, to save lives at that abortion mission field. Across New York City, we have 30 abortion centers in between the five boroughs. We now have missionaries that are not only there in Manhattan that are starting to spread into the Bronx as well as into upstate New York. You have Maine that has 20 abortion centers. Listen, church, there is a lot of work to be done. We need your help. We need your help to, to sound the alarm, to put the word out with Christians that you know across the country, with pastors that you know across the country, to respond to these mission fields. The, the, we must have a response for this. Proverbs 3.27 says, Do not withhold good from those who deserve it when it's in your power to act. The problem is not that we don't have enough churches across the country. We have 300,000 churches across America currently. There are 700 abortion clinics and 500 without a Christian witness. We can do this. The gates of hell will not prevail against the local church. Love Life is here to help equip the local church, to help train uh, missionaries and help train House of Refuge churches on how this can be accomplished, how we can reach these mission fields with the hope of the gospel and the help of the local church. Get the word out. There's three steps that we are using to introduce people um, to this mission field. We want people to watch, go, and launch. The watch piece is every Saturday we have Love Life Live, where we have people from across the country that are joining in on their iPhone as they're out at the mission field giving us live updates, giving us breaking news alerts, things that we can be praying for as they are being a Christian witness at these abortion mission fields. Every Saturday you can join with us on that. You can get an introduction to our ministry. It's a great way for you to, to share it with your friends and introduce them to the work of Love Life, the ministry of Love Life, and also what the mission field looks like. In live time, people are going to get to see what a Christian witness looks like at these mission fields. And then we're going to encourage you to go. We're going to give you some training, some tools for you just to go out there by yourself um, and, or maybe with a handful of people, with some friends, maybe some people from your church, and, and go out there and pray for you to see it for yourself. It's one thing to hear about it. It's one thing to watch the live, but it's a whole other thing for you to go and to experience it for yourself. And then after you go, we will invite you to come to missionary training. We want to uh, talk to you about how we can equip you, how we can resource you, and really help develop you to launch Love Life in your city, to see the Church of Jesus Christ mobilized so that the gates of hell will not prevail in this nation. Listen, we want to see God's mercy on our country. We want to see God's grace on our, on our land. We must obey 2 Chronicles 7.14. That is the answer. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and here's the key, turn from our wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins, and I will heal their land. If we want to see God show us mercy, we must live out repentance. Repentance is not just a prayer. It, it might begin with a confession, but repentance is an action. We know where innocent human beings are scheduled to die across this nation. We must respond as the church of Jesus Christ. We ask you to help us get the word out. God bless you guys. And we are believing that this is going to happen by November 2021, the 100 year anniversary of Planned Parenthood, where Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood, met with leaders in New York City right here where there's currently 30 abortion centers. She met at the Plaza Hotel in New York City with leaders casting a vision for abortion on demand, uh, uh, cast a vision really for a culture of death that has reigned across this nation since 1973. And we are believing by November 2021, the 100 year anniversary of when she had that meeting in New York City, that God's people are gonna rise up and there will be a Christian witness at every place of death. Help us get the word out. God bless you guys.